kiss for you. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو دی پارٹ نائن آف مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن یوٹیوب چینل ایپ یوزنگ اینڈرائڈ اسٹوڈیو اینڈ دی یوٹیوب ڈیٹا اے پی آئی آل ویٹ گائز سو ان آر پریویس پارٹ آئی مین دی پارٹ ایٹ آف آر ویڈیو سیریز آئی ہیڈ وی ہیڈ ڈن دی دی ویڈیو فریگمنٹ پارٹ اینڈ وی ور ایبل ٹو ڈسپلے آل دا ویڈیوز آف اے چینل ان ٹو آر اینڈرائڈ ایکٹیویٹی اور آئی مین دی فریگمنٹ آل ویٹ سو ناؤ ان دس ویڈیو we are going to design the uh, the activity video detail activity and then we will also be doing uh, the code for the opening of that activity so let's get started so there you can see we have only this one the main activity and now i have to click on cut and we will paste it inside our activities so that our code is structured and there you can see we have the main activity inside this activities all right so after this what we are going to do in our video adapter part so first of all we can say that we have to in use intent and create another activity activity that will be the activity video detail so click on right click on activities new activity and select empty activity instead of the instead of this main activity to we have to use activity video detail okay click on finish and now the android studio will generate the java and the xml file all right so after this we have to go to our video adapter part and in here we have to write intent import the class then we can say equal to new intent and here we can say context and then we can say activity video detail dot class then we have to pass on some parameters so if we want to pass on the parameters so for example we need to pass on the video id to the another activity i mean this activity video detail because we are going to play the activity and in order to play the activity we need the video id okay so the you the youtube player api which needs a video id of that video so for this also here we can say intent dot put extra and here we can say video id and how can we achieve the video id so for this first of all we need to have the object so we can say video video obj equal to and we can say array list videos dot get and from which index on which the user has clicked so for in order to uh, fetch that index we can say get adapter position okay and finally simply we can say video obj dot content details dot video id okay so it will be the string all right then another thing which we need is the video title and the video description so for this we can say video de sorry title then we can say video dot sorry obj dot snippet dot title all right similarly for the description we can say put extra video desc then we can say video obj dot snippet dot description and finally we can use the flag so for this we can use intent dot add flags and here we can say intent dot flag activity clear task and finally we can say context dot start activity and we have to pass on the intent here all right so now we are sending the video id video title and the description to our video activity video detail activity so this activity will receive these three values and then it will display the video and then also it will show the title and the description of the video so for this we have to go to our activity video detail part so inside here we have to first, first of all change it and for this we can have to use the linear layout so we can simply say linear layout and inside the linear layout first of all we need a 
toolbar so for the toolbar we can say match parent and the height will be wrap content then the id will be toolbar and finally we can say text color and it will be white and for the background we can say color primary all right then for uh, let us change the theme of our this activity because we are using the toolbar so we have to use no action bar okay so i think it is no action bar by default so we don't have to change it all right then here we have to use the youtube player so for this first of all we have to use a fragment so we will display it in the video in the side a fragment so we have to use fragment then we can say match parent then we set the height to wrap content then we set the id and the id will be fragment youtube and then we can say set the name of it like com dot youtube okay so instead of this playlist act fragment we have to use the fragment video player so it will show us error because we don't have this class but we will add this class inside in our next part of the video all right so after this we have to uh, use the ne the nested scroll view so for this we can say nested scroll view and it will be match parent and height will be 0 dp then we will say weight it to be 1 and we can say clip to padding it should be false and then scroll bars it will be vertical and scrolling cache Android scrolling okay so I think we don't have to use this all right so we have it uh, inside uh, inside this nested scroll view we are going to use uh, another linear layout so for let me add it here linear layout and this time it will be match parent and wrap content then we can set the id of it like lyt content suppose then we can say focusable it will be true it should be focused then we can set the orientation it will be vertical all right so inside this linear layout now we are going to use a text view so for the text view we can say text view and here we have match parent and wrap content then we can set some id like text view tv title its id then we can say it like margin it will be 15 dp then we can set the text as this is video description all right and then we can say text style it will be bold and finally okay so i think it is not the description it is the title then it is bold and then we can say text color it will be i think it should be black so we have to use a black and finally we have to close this then another we need another text view that will be for the description so here we can say text view okay so we need a, 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 I mean we need a view for the break breaking point so there we should use match parent and its height will be 1 dp and its background will be color gray 10 so uh, we will add it later or I think we can say it to be 0 0 0 all right after this we can now add the text view again so we just have to copy it 
and we have to paste it here instead of TV title we can say text view description it's match parent and wrap content and everything is fine text is selectable we have to mark it true okay so I think that is enough and this linear layout will end and we have the, the, the nested scroll view alright guys so now we have to use this fragment video player but for before that let's just add these uh, or I mean bind the views so for this suppose we have the toolbar and here we are having error because we did not define the linear layout so the linear layout will be vertical so here we can say orientation it will be vertical alright and there you can see we have the this one okay so after this now we have the toolbar so first of all we will bind the view so here we can say bind view r dot id dot toolbar and we can f have the object here then we have the text view so for the text view we can say where are text view tv title text view text view title then here we can say r dot id dot tv description then we can simply say text view text view description okay then we have to initialize the button knife so we can say button knife dot bind and we can pass on this here all right so after this we have to use some variables so first of all as we have we are receiving video ID we are receiving title and the description so for this we can say string video ID title and description okay so here we can say get data so for the get data we can say private void get data and here we can get the data for example we can use intent equal to get intent and here we can say video id equal to intent dot get string extra and here we can pass on our video id then we can say video title it will be intent dot get string extra and there we can use video title then for the description we can say intent dot get string extra video description okay so we have received all these these the data and then we can simply put the data so for in order to set the data so we can say like text view title dot set text and we can pass on the title here then we can say text view description dot set text and here we can pass on the description and then we can say toolbar dot set title and it will be video title then finally we can say set sport action bar and we have to pass on our toolbar okay then we have received the values and we have set the values now we have to initialize or play the YouTube video so in order to play the YouTube video we can create a function here we can say play video okay so I just minimize it and here we can say private void play video and here what we are now going to use the YouTube data API so for this here first of all we have to use the YouTube initializer or I think we have done okay so I think we can do that within a, a minute or so so there we can say first of all final YouTube initialization result we can say result equal to YouTube API service util and we can call the is YouTube service API service available and here we can check 
this okay so it will it will tell us if the YouTube data API is available so if it is available or sorry if it is not available so here we can check if result is not equal to YouTube initialization result dot success so if it is not success then we can present an error so for that we can say result dot get error dialog here we have to pass on this then we have to pass on zero and then we can say dot show okay so it will show us error and then it has to return okay else if the the, the youtube api is available then we have to use the fragment video player so for this we can say final fragment video player and we can say fragment video player equal to fragment video player and then we can say get spot fragment manager and here we can say dot find fragment by id and here we have to pass on r dot id dot fragment youtube okay and finally we can simply say fragment video player dot set video id and this id will be the video id here all right so i you can say that see that if we have the error inside this fragment video player also here we have the error so we have to create this fragment video player in our part 10 of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye